hi guys welcome back to my channel um i'm just here to do a little a haul that i had no right doing and yes i keep saying that every time probably i do a haul but i blame people i blame people like Roana vm yes Roana, i blame you and i blame ishi okay and you all will see why in a little bit okay so I went to Trin City Mall on Thursday. Tuesday, yeah, because I went on a field Thursday and come up. Yeah, so on Thursday I went to Trin City Mall. And well those who follow me will know that I'm in sewing class and next week we are moving on to dresses because on Wednesday I had evaluation. Finally the teacher came and I had evaluation so this week we're moving on to dresses we finished skirts so we're moving on to dresses so I bought two pieces of fabric and for those who know the cloth store at Ufie's entrance city mall they have a ten dollars table and I mean for someone who now learning to sew I try to get reasonably priced cloth so I don't like to use brown cotton too much because my hands perspire so i don't like to handle too much of light colored cloth right now especially my hands sweat more now because it's dry season so the sun is really hot and it just triggers something and my hands yeah it goes out of work anyway i got this purple piece of fabric it's it's not thin but it frays a lot so i don't know if it's a, ty a type of tetrax I don't know but it only had two yards left on the bolt and I took it I had to take it I couldn't take less than so it only had two yards and this was twenty dollars ten dollars a yard and then I bought this awesome teal green color and this is 100% cotton this is gonna be really cool I have a slight stretched it and this was twenty dollars a yard so I bought two yards because I'm short so my dress will be short and it's a basic dress we're making nothing no fangle dangle as yet just basic right so i will have extra yeah 72 my my dress is not my dress will not even be a yard so but anyway right so that's you fees so the other place i went was wonderful world because of ishi yeah yeah ishi i'm blaming you because i saw your post on facebook's agil bff and I had some stuff and I messaged you and you messaged me back and yeah, I end up in wonderful world because of you. So, um, what I have here? I have bills. Pennywise. Wonderful world. You see, wonderful world, Trin City still says wonderful world, but wonderful world, Tuna Puna states intimate somebody. Intimate secrets? I think it is. Yeah. So I don't know. Probably it's two sisters. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. All right. So no, I shouldn't show you this. This one. This is what I went to the first one. The one that was upstairs and came downstairs. I went there first, and uh, I picked up this because she had it on her page. And I found I wanted to try it and it's by clean color. She had she bought a lot of clean color stuff and wonderful world says a lot a lot a lot of clean color. So anywho, this is a golden shimmer glow face and body bronzer. This was I think eighteen dollars. Let me see. Clean color. Yes, it was eighteen dollars right and i don't like it i don't know i thought it because i kept looking i i think this is a color here because the tube i guess is clear and i'm thinking this is the color i'm thinking right so i was looking behind here it had two different numbers so i kept checking every one in the box but all had the same color because i thought it would have different tones in it and it, what i like about it it has this nice lovely palm bottle it ha it comes with this cap it's a palm bottle and it could screw off the only thing it doesn't have a straw though so 
I don't know when it reached a certain level if you're going to get out everything. So I guess that's why they make it a cap, a screw off, so you could squeeze it out. They could spray, squirt out too much. So I'm just going to show you because it don't have the straw. One squirt, you get it in so much, right? Well, this is a little bit to compare to the first time I. I used it. Well, tested it. I got like a whole group. Um, so this is what it looks like. And it's not tacky. It's not wet. It's, it's a nice feel. It's a nice dry feel. Right? Um, that's going to use all, I guess. I don't know. So it gives me an orangey look. I mean... I was looking for more of a glue. I don't know. A nice gluey highlight. You know like the Vaseline. Is Vaseline or what other brand that is? I just rubbing the whole thing. Like I said it's not wet. It's not wet like cream or anything like that. But it's just giving me a orangey color. If you see, I'm looking more brown, more tan. I was looking for a glue. Hen see, look at my hand. So I'm looking like really brown. I have a problem with that, but it looks, you know, yeah. I was looking for a glue. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to use it. Is she help me? Because you send me. <laughs> um. I don't know. I don't know. I really thought it would have been a glowy, <sighs> but I'm orange. Okay, I'm orange. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Then I picked up these two things. Let me put it in a different. This is not for me. I picked up two lip jellies. This is to go with my giveaway. So I'm including this in my giveaway. I did not pick up any for myself. So I'm putting it in the goodie giveaway goodie bag. Um, then I picked up these two things that I really want to try. Nobody didn't send me this thing. <laughs> um, the Clean and Color Brow Gel, and I think this was $10. This was, no, 15 This was 15 This was 15 I don't at the time of fifteen dollars, but I think it's more fifteen. So it comes with a cap, it comes with a brush and a comb. And okay, I think I broke. No, I didn't break it. It's a stick-on thing. And then it unscrews, and it's a little one. I find a lot of product comes out though. Um, for your brow, yeah, I find it a lot. Let me just give you a swatch on my orange hand. So that's in there. Alright, so this is a brow gel. There's black and clear and a grey. I don't know why, but yeah. And um another weird colour. Yeah, I think it has glitter in it. Then I saw this and I decided to pick it up. Um it's a clean colour multi use stick. And um, I, I'm, it could use as blush, bronzer. They have a lot of other weird colors that, not weird, lighter colors that I guess you could only use for blush. I'm not sure if you can use it as a lipstick as well because the box that it came in, well, the box that they had at the store, that it's stored in, it says multi-purpose stick. So... So there's this wind up thing. What is this color? This is cinnamon. So I'm going to use it as a blush. Because I don't really. And it's not um sticky. It has a really dry, nice feel to it. And as you can see, it's blendable. Very, very blendable. 
it has a slight smell but then i don't know if that is from the bronzer okay don't have a smell the scent is from the bronzer so it blends in quite well so you can use it to contour or as a blush so i'm really liking this this was ten dollars and something missing. okay that in the other bag no this is supposed to be in this bag and then the last thing i picked up from that wonderful world was this Jordana liquid liner for fifteen dollars i have the blue to this and i'm going to swatch it and i'm going to leave it to dry because it dries really well and it does not smudge i just did a test but it, the only thing i don't like is the this brush and see how it is so i need to cut it and fix it to suit or i'll just do something else with it so i'm applying it really wet there you see how black it is and i'm just going to leave it to dry because it's really wet there right and this was 15 or 15 dollars next the next wonderful wool bag um let me tell you everything i picked up this clean color glitter eyeliner i think this was either 10 or 15 dollars um nail polish nail polish yeah this was ten dollars and i'm going to do a swatch alongside the eyeliner there was a blue as well but i picked this up in purple i think i'm gonna go back for the blue though um is she also picked up some nice um eyeliners but I left it alone. Some metal hard, something metal hard. If I remember, is she correct me? Um, so I picked up that. That was ten dollars. Then I picked up these. Where the bill gone? I think these were ten dollars as well. No, this was fifteen dollars, and it's um a pen liner. And you all know I don't like the caramel blue. I don't like the shade of blue so i picked up this one and i hope i like it because there weren't any testers and i'm just opening i'm opening it for the first time with you guys so you all will see my reaction to it so that's it there it's a bit fat though but we'll see how it goes And it's apparently to be dry so again i don't like the shade of blue but that's it there it seems to be dry so i don't know i'm gonna keep it down store it down and see what happens i also picked that was blue i picked up the other one in brown And I'm getting problems so open this brown one. Okay. I'm hoping I like this brown one. Again, it seems to be dry. Yeah, it is but I'm going to store it down and see what happens so guys don't buy it unless I tell you well I store it down and it works but for now we started to dollars it's dry it's not working you can see it right and my last two things yes I know eh, but I can resist it was these two nail polishes um this one is fairy lover it's a nice purple my friend name who i can't pronounce who has a channel and loves purple i call her miss purple you know who you are um yeah this is a really nice dark purple and i picked up this one in boogie nights a nice um orangey color 
So that's all I picked up at Wonderful Wheel. Then Rowana VM sent me to Pennywise because she did a haul. And she said, I'm try it now next. So I went and I buy. But one, and that's dealing with some perfume she purchased. One of the perfumes that she purchased and she loves, my, um, I don't like it. I think the name of it is Change. She loves it, but I don't particularly like it. And that is for $25. The bottle is gorgeous, but I didn't like it. The other one she did recommend though was Nem Nemesis. Nemesis. And this was $25, and I really like this. Thank you, Rowana. And um, it's a nice box, a lady. Um, I need to slide it out. And this is the bottle. All right, it's a hundred ml, and it's sweet, um, like a honeysuckle. It's really nice. It's not like sweet, like oh gosh, I'm gonna die from diabetes. Sweet, and what I appreciate about it, you know, it have a lot of cheap perfumes, but you smell alcohol before the fragrance. You're not getting that with this. It has no. You're not smelling alcohol. It's sweet. I like it. I'm not a really of a sweet, 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 sweet perfume person, but it smells nice. For $25, I mean, you can't expect, right? So, yeah. So, for the $25, it smells good. The other one I picked up, and that is the only, the only reason why I picked up this is because I didn't like the other one, and I wanted something else just to try, right? And I picked up this one, Euphorites, Euphorites. It's the imitation to Euphoria from Calvin Klein. And anybody who knows me knows I love Euphoria, right? So they kind of imitate the bottle, kind of. They try, right? They try. It's not this, you know, right? But they did try and color the box as well. It's not alcohol, but it's a lot of fruity. But fruitier than Nemesis. Yeah, I sprayed it up here because I have other perfumes on me. So yeah, I like this one. But you don't have, you know, just smell it, wear it on your hand, go home, come back, and then purchase. I didn't do that because, yeah. I just say, oh, okay, it's smelling okay. And it's okay. For twenty five dollars. Then today, today Saturday, my I had to take my son Pan and drumming today again because next week is graduation. So that's the last of me and him. Because this is really the father thing. I and him, like anyway. So I went to Pennywise again. And why did I go to Pennywise? Oh, when I was at Trin City Mall buying the perfumes. One of the sales clerks, she was real helpful. Two of the sales clerks in Trinity City Mall by the perfume counter. I didn't get their names. I do apologize for that. But they were really helpful. And I thank them for their great customer service. They were really good. They were good. Right? So one of the girls who was helping me more than the other one, she recommended a perfume for me. Right? And the same $25 line. But they were out of stock. But she let me smell the sample because she used that every day to come to it and I, I smell my hand because i took the tester here but because i put the bronzer here it killed the scent because the bronzer has a smell so i went to pennywise today in tunapuna to pick up see if they had what she recommended and they did have it and the name of it is apple gold right it has apple red and apple green but it said and even Patrice, I think it's the girl's name in Tunapuna, a uh, tech raster red skin girl who works the perfume section. Yeah. She's like, this one is the best smell one. Don't even bother smelling red anything. Okay? 
perfume. But you know, everybody's sense, sense of smell is different. So something that you may love, I may not like. And then something that I may love, you're like, oh yeah, next time you can really like that. You know what I mean? So it's, it's everybody's sense. Uh, scent is different. Sense, sense of smell is different. Right? And I really like this one. I must say, I like this one. Even the bottle. So, oops. It gives you a flurry smell in the beginning, but you have to let it like air dry, and you're gonna get the true fragrance. It's not like all florizy flurry, like our air refreshener. But at first, it will smell like that, but you have to let it die down. And you're gonna get a real soft, flurry smell. Soft, really mild and nice. It's like a Lily of the Valley kind of smell, I think. I don't know. You get a little vanilla smell. I like it. And I bought another one because Patrice say buy this one now buy this one and I like this one it has two in this there's the yellow one and this one but I don't like the yellow one I like this one so between Roana and Ishi yeah I need my nodia let me make my pork pork right so the bottle is pretty cute it's pink with angel wingy things and it smells nice i had it on since uh, about 130 and it is now 517 and it's still they're still getting the fragrance i can't tell you what it's smelling like you know but it's smelling nice that i could see and then there's another one that I am smelling that I, that I didn't buy. It's in a nice box. And she told me it is the dupe for Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Perfume. I don't know how true it is because I never smell it. So that's what she said. But guys, I like this one. And that's my haul. I am at 22 minutes and 39 seconds for this little haul. All I'm going, all I'll be safe. Bye.